Hello and welcome to the show. Now you may realise that I am not exactly in the same place where we left off last time with my summer car. Unfortunately, when I went to recall this episode, I may have had a small bit of a computer crash and yeah, th things didn't quite go to plan. Now we left off in Lopi with me uh, barely clinging on to life with an absolutely ruined Satsuma that is still stuck over in Lopi. Now amazingly, I uh, got in the tractor and made it home before I died, so the little needs bars are relatively lenient in terms of the, uh, yeah, kind of, kind of the limits of what you can do, because I, I drove the entire way back from Lopi in the tractor with fatigue and thirst very, very much in the red. And yeah, we're, we're perfectly okay. Now, when I got back, I loaded up the van, ready to go on a rescue mission of the septic truck. Uh, we can see in here. I found the fuzzy dice as well. They actually, <laughs> they're on the desk now. I'm bringing them with me, because the plan is they can be part of the punishment for the uh, green vehicle whenever we manage to capture that. And I set off with the truck. I managed to roll... I set off the van, sorry. I managed to roll the van almost immediately and killed myself. And, uh, yeah. It, it was in the... In the dying and reloading, that's where my computer crashed. The game did save itself, hence why I am back over here. Uh, obviously, it crashed just after it finished saving. Either way, yeah, it's now Thursday, and I've got all of these vehicles back in one piece over here, but I've still got cars scattered around the map that we need to go and recover. Now, my plan for today is to go and return the septic or get get the septic truck if along the journey we happen to find a you know an opportunity to exact some revenge on the green car i'm okay with that i was really hoping we would have a phone call for a job um but yeah we could probably sit around here all day waiting for the bloody phone to ring so we're going to ignore that for now i don't even know if i need to have like the truck back before they they they, they call me i don't know whether the game knows if i'm missing a truck oh that's actually a, a full brake fluid so that or a a usable amount uh so yeah the plan is we're going to take the van up to where the septic truck is we're going to try and not roll and die immediately with the <laughs> with the van uh, we'll take this up to the septic truck we will then drive a little bit of the long way round. I think what I'm going to do, I'll just show you on the map actually. Uh, I think if I'm going to head around, so the red road is kind of the ring road, the motorway bit. Uh, we are crashed somewhere up in this corner, we're not crashed, we, we left it there when we got wrecked in the uh, Satsuma. So if we're going to take the kind of motorway all the way around, I'm going to kind of see what's around that area. Also it's going to be a hell of a lot easier towing the vehicle if it is on the motorway than yeah than when it's not so we're gonna head around the top i think the scrapyard maybe i don't actually know though in all honesty so we'll have a look ah so the airfield the airfield drag racing is down here i don't know if that's the rally stage there maybe possibly i don't know uh i think the van's probably my vehicle with the most amount of fuel hanging around here we have very little in the way of money very little in the way of money. Uh, everything's got about half a tank of petrol or diesel, depending on what it is. I don't even know what um, level the muscle car is on. Go on, van. There we go. It's been a while since I've driven this. Uh, apart, from, Well, it's been a while since I've driven it anywhere other than trying to rescue my own stricken car. We will reverse this out of here. Now, let's not immediately... <laughs> This is to try and immediately not roll it all like so. It wasn't there where I flipped it. It was a couple of quarters later, but not much further. <gasps> what I might do while I think about it, actually. I dear, because uh, I've been meaning to pick this up for a little while. Apparently, there is a diesel canister. There it is. Found the bugger. Um, I thought I might as well take that with me. I don't know if it's actually got anything in it now. Probably not, but we may as well have it with us. If 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 we have call for it, if we need it, and if at some point I'm actually not completely broke, might not be a bad idea. And at least if I put this in there, I'll know where it is. So yeah, fingers crossed on all of that. Uh, apparently that that trailer is the one that you fill up with uh, with firewood. Apparently you can tow that with the tractor. I'm not sure if that's any less glitchy than any of the other towing that we've been doing, but uh, I don't think I'd want to take that anywhere with the. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to towing this around the motorway. I wonder what the police are going to say about this being towed around the motorway. Apparently I was reading in the in the, the patch notes for the last update, the police are now randomised in their spawning positions. So, 
we are going to have to be a little bit more careful with the going flat out everywhere in the van. <laughs> yeah, basically, we've got to watch out. I think it was here that I made. I don't know how on earth I managed to do it. Oh, we're going to do it again. Because this isn't. I've driven the Satsuma so much that this is now a little bit weird to drive. I've driven the Satsuma and the Septic truck, and this is completely different to both of them. Uh, there we go. Well, we've made it further. We haven't crashed and died this time on our epic recovery journey of the truck. I say epic. I have no doubt I'm going to find some way for something to break. I just hope when we've got beer, we've got almost a full case of beer. I'm not sure it's quite completely full, but almost a full case of beer and three packs of sausages. And that should more than cover me in terms of food and food and drink. Oh, get off there. I can't actually get the truck off of there very easily, or the van off of there very easily. Um, yeah, that should cover our needs for that. Uh, we can we just about anywhere we want to on this game that will deal with that one. Uh, dirtiness isn't going to kill you, so it doesn't matter. The issue is fatigue, and unfortunately, you can't sleep in your car. You know, it's a little, little bit of a shame. Certainly, um, in the likes of the septic truck or something, you should be able to uh, sleep on the, I say, the parcel shelf. I don't even know what to call it. A bit behind the seats where I was storing the parcels. Um, I guess actual, actual parcel shelf. Um, I used it as. I don't know what, what on earth to call it, but uh, yeah, you could definitely sleep on there rather than dying of fatigue. Likewise, you know, there's plenty of space. It's not very comfortable, but there is plenty of space in the back of the van for, <laughs> for you to have a sleep in if you so needed to. Now, I am wary. We've already had one crash with the little green car on these roads. Now, admittedly, that crash, it was heading in the other direction, and we won. We, we we won quite categorically the crash with that. I think we did it with the septic truck, and then we bullied it with the uh, forklift for a little while. I am a little bit more concerned about hitting that in the van. It probably won't end quite so well for me. I might end up getting flung out the windscreen or something stupid. We need seatbelts. That's what we need on on these vehicles. That would that would perhaps that would perhaps help. But uh, yeah, if we can if we can avoid crashing into that on our journey around to our truck that would be indeed very useful well we have made it on to the lovely tarmac road there is a green car ahead of us uh, but that is not the one that we are <laughs> bothered about we have got as i said we've got to be a little bit more careful because while i used to know that this part was completely clear of police i don't know where they are now going to be although i think we can do 100 kilometers down here it was okay with i think we're clear as well to come across um, yeah, we've also got to be a little bit more careful in, in terms of if we do find the green car we want to murder, we can't just crash straight into it with the van, because I will die from that one as well. So we kind of need to get to the truck, the septic truck first. Unfortunately, it, um, other than crashing the vehicle off the road, we can't really do a huge amount. I guess we should have bought the tractor, but then the tractor couldn't do 100 kilometers an hour down here and actually get me to my destination quickly. This is also decidedly wobbly. Look at that wobble going on. <laughs> That's a little bit on the scary side. I'm going to be honest, it's not really ideal. Oh, the joys. Basically, my, my experience of this game has been the joys of towing something after you've had an accident. Now, can we oh, <laughs> not end up in the oncoming lane? That would be bad. I know there are trucks, like big trucks that go around as well. The place. Oh, there's a van. A van like mine. Hello. Right, we've found our truck. I hope it's got enough diesel uh, in it to do this. Otherwise, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Right, and uh, we want a... Oopsie, that's, there we go. Uh, we want it to... It doesn't really matter if we leave it in gear. What we will want to do is turn it off, though. Uh, actually, open door, and then we can find that switch nice and easily. And then close... Close that. Right. I'm assuming we can tow from this? I have a horrible... I just had a momentary horrible thought that we couldn't. It's fine, we can. Uh, towing hook is down there somewhere in the grass. That'll do. Right. Now, if we get... Oh, there's the windscreen from my car. <laughs> there it is. Um, I'm not sure there's very much I can do with that, shall we? Okay, we're going to lay a trap. We're going to lay a trap for that green car. When it comes round, it can puncture its tyres on the broken windscreen. Let's hope it's the next car that comes round and it's not a police car. Ooh, we've got beer in here as well. I didn't know about that. Fantastic. Ah, there's part of the car. Ah, well, it's fine. It can stay in there. Was that the bumper I was missing? It might have been. Oh, it was a truck we got with our makeshift stinger. 
Not that it really seemed to be that bothered by any of it. Right, uh, where was the... There's the ignition in this. There we go, we'll just turn that on uh, briefly. How are we doing? Okay, so we've got half a tank in this. That should be okay. And we'll head around. We'll see if the scrapyard's up this end. I don't really know. I think, actually, the scrapyard might even be in, in Lopi or around that area. Not sure. We shall go for a little bit more of an explore, though. Come on, truck. There we go. Fantastic. I do wish we had a mobile phone. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> for, for receiving calls for jobs and so on. Because it's a bit of a pain having to be at home. Right, we are away. We are away with minimum... Wait, what was that in the row? Oh, that's the windscreen. That's fine. thought, wait, something, something phased out of my truck that I needed. But no, it was just the windscreen we left behind. Okay, I think we, we, we're looking pretty pretty solid, actually. This may be the better way of towing than the tractor. I can't really see what's going on behind me. And I think that's a good thing. My experience is if you can't see what's going on behind you, then it's probably going okay. And this road is uh, much wider and much easier to deal with. Are oh, you the car that needs murdering? I'm just going to let my truck... No, you're not. You're, you're okay. You're okay. You're fine. You can live, red sedan. We're not going to try and kill you. Um, yeah, now, now it's just kind of a wait and try and spot the spot the vehicle. I mean, he may well end up you know, being behind me and drive straight into the back of me. Considering we're now going far slower than we ever were with the uh, with the Satsuma, because yeah, we're doing 55, amazing, the amazing giddy heights of 55 kilometers an hour. Actually, it's towing quite well. I'm ple I'm pleased that it hasn't gone too haywire back there. Uh, and I've got to re <laughs> I've got to really keep an eye on my mirrors. If we're going to spot this, oh, I guess if we're going to spot this thing coming, it's just going to drive into the back of us again. But uh, if we're going to spot this thing coming, ready to a, sort of attack it and pounce on it. We could do with keeping an eye on the mirrors. I think I might have sat... When I, when I went into driving mode, I might have sat at a slightly wonky angle here. Never mind. Um, I swear this thing went faster than this. Is it just a towing... I mean, no doubt towing a van will slow it down a little bit, but considering the amount of crap that this thing... Literally crap that this thing will haul, surely it can't slow it down that much more. What are you? Do you need murdering? No, you're fine. Um, oh! I murdered it. <laughs> Forgot my van was going to take a lot longer to come across. We, we, we may have murdered it ever so slightly. That was a big, that was a very, very big clonk that we should probably check that everything in our van is okay. Van, are you good? He's fine. He's, he's good. <laughs> no harm was done. We might have lost a couple of sausages, I think, in all of that, though. That's disappointing. Oh, no, maybe we didn't. Maybe they're just hidden. Uh, don't get run over. Uh, there's some sausages in there. Oh, there is a car coming on this side of the road. I don't know whether it's something we need to worry about. Quick, 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 quick. Climb, climb, climb. No, don't push the truck into the ditch. Get in. Woo! <laughs> we made it in. We, 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 um, there, there are things, not, not good things are happening here. Let's just go for that. There's still a bit of a wonky camera view, but never mind. Uh, there's a gear somewhere that'll get us going in a forward direction. Forward direction! There we go. Well, we had revenge on a random car that I didn't mean to. Oh, this camera is very wonky. Hold on, let's just sort this out. Why, we're not out of driving mode. Oh, of course we've got to stop, haven't we? Stop, enter driving mode. There we go. That'll, that's better than it was. Let's go back down the gearbox again. There we go. Right. Murdering random AI traffic as we go. Things are fine. Things are fine. The truck is following us nicely. Ah, I have missed the joys of tarmac roads. Tarmac roads are such a novelty. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we can take the... We should have gone back the other way. Come to think of it, I should have gone back the other way, taking the septic truck down what I think might be the rally stage, because that can only go amazingly, amazingly well. But we won't find... We won't find the evil dastardly car down there. Uh, the van also held up very, very well in that uh, rather high, rather high-speed impact. I think we lost the windscreen on the van. Yeah, I think we probably did. Let's not wander into the oncoming lane just yet. Uh, what is that sign? Where is that sign for? Uh, oh, it's just a sign saying there are moose or elk eyes by a car. Are oh, you? Oh, no, you're a van. You're... I swear I've already seen you around once today. You're fine. We don't want to murder you. I mean, I could use my flail of a tail behind me. But uh, is a damn sight more effective on this game than it ever was on Carmageddon? Where you get the spike tail on Carmageddon is about the most useless thing imaginable. But on here... On here, it is fantastically effective at murdering oncoming traffic. I guess in Carmageddon... Whoa! 
There's another moron. That's an a Saab, by the looks of it. I don't think I've seen that car before. Ooh, getting a little bit wibbly and wobbly. I'm actually surprised to see him overtake me normally. And the, I think that is a new car that I haven't seen before. I mean, we've seen the red sedan a few times, but we haven't seen that, uh, that Saab. Now, I believe this is the turning for Lopi? Uh, we should probably check and make sure. Uh, are you the turning for Lopi? Are there any signs that are telling me where this road is going? That one there, probably. Uh, where are you going? Uh, I can't see at all. Let's have a quick, let's have a quick look. Oh, bloody hell! And now I'm getting out of the truck. It's uh, yes. Yeah, so that's the road to Lopi that we don't want to go on. Uh, I know, I know the car I want to murder is going to come soaring past when I'm pratting around doing this. Right, the next turn is the one that uh, that we want, I believe, but it will be a little while away. Uh, there's a gear in there somewhere. Oh, are we a little bit stuck? Ah, we're fine. I mean, considering, as I said, this thing can have 10,000 10, litres of crap in the back of it, pulling one truck behind it shouldn't be too bad, or pulling one small van behind it shouldn't be too bad in terms of setting off. There we go. Uh, let's just go through the gears. We've got to try... I've got to be a little bit wary of the fuel consumption. I guess we're probably going to be better to just, you know... I say motorway. It's not motorway, but... On the tarmac road, we've got to be a better consumption. I also keep seeing these rocks out there that I keep think look like something. They're not. They're just rocks. But it looks like there might be something hidden. I was hearing as well... I don't know how I don't know how true it is. I've seen comments in a, in a few different videos and so on. Apparently there are barn finds on their way into this game. There are sort of barns dotted around uh, where there may be, sort of in a future update, cars that you can find and you can rescue and, and restore and so on. Uh, which would be really, really cool. I don't know... I mean, I certainly haven't seen any, but I have tended to stick to the same little area. I haven't really gone that far exploring off the beaten path. Uh, and to be fair, there's quite a lot of, you know, these solid sort of tree lines around. I don't know quite how far there are places to explore Apparently, I think there are barns around at the moment uh, that where, where they would be going, but uh, yeah, I haven't seen any. I spy a vehicle up ahead. Are you? A, oh, I, saw, I spy something up ahead. If it's not a vehicle, I don't know quite what it. Oh no, it's a sign. Never mind. Uh, which no, we're just being a dog now, just leaning out of the <laughs> out of the side. We could do with. I don't think we have any windscreen, any any way to wash the windscreen, do we? We can have an interior light. Probably shouldn't be looking down there, should we? Uh, that's a dangerous way of doing things. Uh, wipers. No, not, not really not really working, is it? Uh, oh, we have different modes for wipers. That's quite cool. And I can go back there again. Um, your parking brake. I was gonna, for a second, I was wondering if it had the hand throttle like the uh, tractor does, just because I'm lazy. But no, we've got to, we've got to stay. <laughs> not that I would expect that it would, but uh, it's in the same place as the tractor. Come on, I just want something. Oh, I say I want something. I want one specific car to appear so that we can get revenge on it and, and be finished. I say be finished. We've got to recover the Satsuma. I mean, me crashing into... If only we could steal bits of it to repair our Satsuma. Also, we need a drink. Oh, the drink is out of out of reach. That's never good. It's never good. Oh. <laughs> We're going to have to pull over again, aren't we? We might actually make it back. I think we're now coming around the top of the... Top of that. There's not really been very much out here. I'm going to be honest. A little bit disappointed as far as... Well, stuff goes around. There is... Nothing. Pretty much. Oh, we've found a building! And that is the that is the extent of the excitement right now. Yes. One single building. I would go and explore that one. One building in the middle of a very, very wide open field. Oh, mate, this might be the turning that we want, actually. I believe it is. You see, you could have a barn find in that one. Over there. Possibly. Um, I think we want to make this corner, and I... If I have remembered correctly, and it is a really, really, really big if. Come on, truck. A little bit of a steep hill. This should bring us out at uh, the corner where I spun the muscle car when I was recovering it. It does look like it has. Ah, oh, look at me being able to read a map and everything. Right, so we head down this way and it won't actually be too far until we are home. Well, today's recovery journey has actually gone relatively smoothly, which is odd. We have got a van in tow. We have got a van bouncing around crazily in tow. Let's not look back there. Again, if we can't see what's going on, then let's hope that it's all going to be okay. Um, we've murdered a completely and utterly innocent random car, and we got overtaken by a Saab that was cutting it very, very close. Unfortunately, as far as a revenge mission goes, 
not, not, not so much. The van's on its side. The van's doing a little dance at the moment. Uh, I would, I would like to film it better. At the moment, we're just kind of having to see what it's doing in the rearview mirror. I, I would lean out and, and, you know, but then we'll be looking the wrong direction, and then we'll probably have a crash into something and roll the septic truck, and that would just not be a, that would just not be good. I mean, today has kind of been a, a cleaning up episode, kind of cleaning up the mess of the last two. <laughs> with, with, with a slight bit more mess. Oh, please don't get caught on this. I had a horrible, horrible thought that uh, the van was going to get caught on the sign and then we would all get stuck and things would go to space. And we've actually had lots of going to space in this series that I didn't quite expect. You know, the, the series about building a car has had quite a lot of minor space flights and we're nearing out of the thirst meter, but we're almost home, so that's okay. And we're going to be... Oh, we'll... Uh, like, literally, the van can do whatever the hell it wants, and it makes no difference to the truck. I like that. That makes my life so much... I say it makes my life so much easier. Oh, that, that did do something to the truck that time. That getting caught did. I should probably not have spoken quite so soon. There is it gone. I've lost... Oh, there it is. It's on its side. <laughs> this is a fantastic game of watch the van prat around behind us. Unfortunately, I don't think there is a third-person camera for me to uh, to show with. Uh, I just don't think there is an option whatsoever. I always tend to drive in first person anyway, and it makes this sort of game much more fun, but, uh, yeah, I don't even think there would be an option. Now I'm trying to make the van do silly things, and that's probably not a clever idea, is it? It's gonna, it's gonna go wrong, and the van is gonna act as an anchor at any moment now. Whee, look at it, look at it bounce and spin and slide, and we're gonna take a shortcut. This could only go really well for everybody involved, and we're across fine. The septic truck is absolutely fine. Amazingly, the van is okay as well. Yeah, from now on, from now on, towing missions shall be done by this truck, because it can actually tow stuff. We've made it home! We have finally made it back. I think it's about the most vehicles we've had at home at one point in a long, long time. <laughs> we are back with the septic truck, we are back with the van, the tractor is here, the Satsuma is stuck out in Lopi, and there is nothing we can really do about that. And... Parked. Hello, front bumper. You have come to say you have, you have, you have come to say hello. Come to join in. You wanted to be on camera at some point. Um, not front bumper. Sorry, rear bumper. Uh, we shall play basketball with the. Mm, that's probably not going to go very well, is it? Hold on. Can we? If we pick it up at a perfect angle. Here we go. We're lining up for the most amazing, amazing basketball shot. I say amazing basketball shot. I'm like right next to it, and I'd say that was a. I'd say that was a score, of sorts at least. Um, woo. Uh oh. Tractor. <laughs> Don't you bloody dare go running into the into the lake. There we go, that's fine. You stopped? You good? So if we I'm just, I'm curious if I can repeat the results again of whatever we just did. No. Okay, so apparently if you run into the forks at a weird angle, sometimes it will just fire it backwards off into the into the scenery and we have a drink. Oh, and everything is a little bit calmer. Well, we have three vehicles back. We have three vehicles, and we have the vehicle back that we can make money with, at least. Uh, the van is looking a little bit grumpy, but that's fine. Uh, can we, at any point, remove... Somewhere in there. There it is. Remove tow rope. Yeah, I mean, the van's a little bit... Uh, I mean, it, it's like a, a British-built car, really, with that... Look at the size of that gap going on in there. <laughs> <laughs> that is impressive. In fact, where is the engine in this? Um, I guess... Actually, I guess this would be a rear? Could be a rear engine thing? I mean, if, the, if it was, I don't know where on earth it would go. Hold on a second. Because, yeah, like, there's no space for an engine in that front bit whatsoever. Because you can see the pedals are quite clearly, well, there. Um, so... I guess it would be in the back? So if it was in the back, it would have to be... Oh, bloody hell. Uh, again, I'm not expecting it to be, you know, actually to be detailed in the game. I'm just kind of curious as to where on earth it would go. Maybe it would go uh, higher, or maybe it goes... Ah, there it is. There, okay, we found it. So you kind of sit on the engine. <laughs> so we've got mid-engine rear-wheel drive in our... in our van. Well, I mean... Yeah, it, 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 it's... It's the sportier layout of all of my vehicles that we have here. I guess. Um, well, anyway, that was a bit of recovery work. We kind of 
needed that in all honesty we needed to get our, our vehicles in order i think we may have lost a pack of sausages in all of that oh no we're, we've lost two packs of that's not good bugger we're loo we've been hemorrhaging food today unless it's wedged in a wheel well somewhere uh no i don't think it is oh Arse. Okay, so we've lost a couple of packs of food, and we haven't actually got that much food left. At some point, we're gonna... Uh, we need a lot more money to we win the lottery. In fact, we need someone to call and give us a job, which we haven't had for a little while, which is a little bit disconcerting. Um, yeah. Well, we're going to... Leave it there, I think. Our vehicles are back, at least. We are ready to make more progress. We only had one small crash today that didn't involve me dying, so I'll take that as a plus point, and only slightly minorly bent up a van that's gonna be it from me thank you very much for watching and until next time uh goodbye